Hello and welcome back to Statman James. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below. And today we're talking about Paulo Fonseca, the man that is now odds on favourite to replace Jose Mourinho as manager of Tottenham Hotspur. Now, in this video, I'm going to go through who Fonseca is, his history, his tactics, what he can do for Tottenham. So stick around and let's get straight into it. So, Paulo Fonseca is a 48 year old Portuguese man that used to play as a centre back in his native leagues in Portugal. He played for a variety of Portuguese sides, the likes of Maritimo, Vitoria Guimarães, Belenenses, and for the majority of his career, he played at Barrense in the third tier of Portuguese football. He then went on to management in 2005, with his first notable side being Aves in 2011. He then went on to have one year spells at Paco Ferreira, FC Porto, back to Paco Ferreira, SC Braga, and then went on to high level management, taking over Shakhtar Donetsk in 2016. He truly made a name for himself at Shakhtar Donetsk, winning the Ukrainian double all three seasons that he managed them. He won the Ukrainian League and the Ukrainian Cup in 2017, 18 and 19. He also won the Ukrainian Super Cup in 2017, the same year that he was voted the Ukrainian Manager of the Year. In 2019, he finished third in the Champions League group, but he did beat Guardiola's Man City 2-1 in the group stage, a manager that he will face if he takes over Tottenham next season. He later departed from Shakhtar Donetsk after 139 games in charge, of those he won 103 at a 74.1% win rate. He had a plus 183 goal difference and lost just 17 games of 139. After impressing a lot of clubs around Europe, he was then approached by AS Roma, where he was appointed as permanent manager on the 11th of June 2019. In his first season with Roma, Fonseca finished at Isla Rossi 5th in the Serie A and in his disappointing second season he was 6th place before being sacked and got knocked out of the semi-finals of the Europa League by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Manchester United. He was later sacked by Roma after 102 games, of which he won 53 with a 52% win ratio, a plus 56 goal difference and lost 26% of games, which could be described as an average period for both club and manager. So let's look at Paolo Fonseca's tactics. Well, he loves to play an attacking brand of football, and James Horncastle, a writer for The Athletic, said that his Roma side were the league's entertainers alongside Sassuolo and Atalanta. He's an intense manager that loves players that are comfortable on the ball, similar to the Barcelona way, where even defenders and goalkeepers should be comfortable controlling the ball and being agile. Now, predominantly, Fonseca likes to use a 4-3-3 or the 4-2-3-1, yet in his final season at Roma, he reverted to a 3-4-3, where at the start of the season, he went on an eight-game unbeaten run, also beating league champions Juventus 3-1 away from home. So what can he offer to Spurs? Well, straight away, I expect to see a flowing, attacking style of football that Hyung min Son and Harry Kane will thrive under, if Tottenham can keep hold of Harry Kane this summer. I expect him to improve the likes of Lo Celso and Deli Alli, because his attacking midfielders are crucial to his style of play, with AS Roma creating the second most big chances in the Serie A last season behind Atalanta. He'll also aim to give Spurs more of a backbone. They seem as quite a weak, timid side, and for the sake of likes bold, strong personalities, as shown on the pitch last season. Now his Roma side picked up 107 yellow cards in the Serie A last season, the most of any side, alongside seven red cards, which was the second most in the league behind Genoa. Overall, I think Fonseca can be a success at Tottenham as long as he's backed in the correct way in the transfer market. I think he'll target his ex-player, Roma centre-back Chris Dante, a ball-carrying, bold centre-half that was a rock at the back for Roma last season. And of course, after a few training sessions, anywhere that he sees weakness, it'll be down to Daniel Levy to help him replace that. That was my preview on everything you need to know about Paolo Fonseca. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more, check out my channel at Statman James. We're also on Instagram at Statman James, where I upload daily football stats. Thank you for taking the time and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.